So I've made a few videos about Stripe recently and you guys are asking me a lot of questions and there was one question in particular that made me a little bit curious. Are you able to use Stripe and have like a single payment link for a specific product so that people can purchase at any time that they want without you having to go in the back end and like send an invoice and go through all the different details that I talked about in the previous two videos? And until recently, I thought that you couldn't really do this. I'm not a Stripe expert. Like I created these videos to help my clients be able to use Stripe because they maybe aren't ready to invest in something like Thrivecart, which is what I use and it automates everything and simplifies everything. But recently I was purchasing something and the person I was purchasing this specific offer from sent me a Stripe link, a direct payment link. And it looked something like this. All I had to do was enter my card information and that was that. So I was actually pretty curious because I hadn't seen actual payment links from Stripe directly before. Like I didn't know that that was a thing. So I started looking and seeing how can we actually set up single payment links through Stripe directly. Now I wanna caution you with one thing. If you are looking to automate the whole process, like somebody purchases through this link and then you want them to automatically receive an email from your CRM or you want them to be added to your learning management system, like a course hosting platform, Kajabi or whatever, then obviously just using Stripe by itself is not gonna make a lot of sense. So the way that I got access from the purchase I made recently is I had to take a screenshot of the thank you page, I had to DM that person proof that I sent the payment and then she was able to manually unlock access to me. Uh, so if you're not wanting to spend extra time, I still recommend going with something like Thrivecart. I'm a huge fan of Thrivecart. Yes, I'm an affiliate. And it's because it is the best thing to automate everything in your payments in your, you know, you can have your course hosting platform. I recently made a video about how I'm moving away from Podia and just focusing on Thrivecart Learn to host my smaller courses. So I do think it's, the best option out there. And it is a one-time only payment, which is obviously way better for the longevity of your business. But, so I'm gonna log into my Stripe account. And this is actually super easy, to be totally honest. This is one of the easiest thing that I didn't even know this existed. But when you're in your Stripe account, you're gonna go on the top and you're gonna click on that more button. And then this is a new feature. This is why I didn't know this was a thing. This is a new feature. You can see here under direct payments, you'll notice uh, it says payment links, no code checkout pages. Boom, this is what we're going after. So you can see on this page, I have nothing because I don't actually take payments through Stripe directly. I use Thrivecart, but you can simply create a payment link by clicking on this button. And this is actually pretty cool because you do get to, um, first actually, let me talk about what happens on the confirmation page. The cool thing that about this is I'm actually surprised because yes, you can have a very simple confirmation page just as you see right here and it will tell you your company name. And you can also add a custom message like uh, DM me on Instagram with your email and I'll send you the access. Like you can do something like that. But I do think that showing the regular, like here's the, here's a statement, that sort of thing makes sense. But you can also send people to another part of, like a specific part of your website. So you can plug in a custom created thank you page, order confirmation page, what, what have you, if you have one on your website already that has all the steps that people should take as moving forward, like, hey, thank you for signing up. Here, join this Facebook group if you're hosting a course in a Facebook group. Or, hey, thank you so much, you know, uh, make sure that you DM me a screenshot of your purchase and I'll make sure to add you along with your email and I make sure to add you, right? Because you do need those extra steps when you're using just Stripe. But this is a pretty cool thing, I think, uh, just to give people clarification on what to do next. So moving back to this payment page, this is what people are going to see when they're planning on purchasing. So the first obvious thing you have to do is find what product you're selling. And if you already have set up products, like I showed you in some of the previous videos, you can select what that looks like here, or you can create a new product. So when you're creating a new product, you can choose an image, which is nice. And you can of course decide, is it a one-time payment or is it a recurring payment? So yes, you can actually have people start their subscription payments on their own directly through Stripe. So if you're charging $97 a month recurring, you can choose how often they're getting billed, of course, and usually that's gonna be monthly. Create the product, you add that product, and here we go. Uh, people are gonna be able to sign up at $97 a month. They're gonna be charged $97 today. And I would 
recommend not adjusting the quantity, but if you want to create a bundle or something, you can add additional products. So there is some cool stuff you can do here. Uh, so additionally, it may be recommended, especially if you're doing a subscription product uh, to collect people's addresses, to collect their phone numbers. I do think that it's valuable to have this information. If you're selling something as a one-time only offer, especially a low ticket, I don't really think it's that important to collect the addresses, but I'm not speaking on the legal side. This is obviously use your best judgment and speak to um, an attorney or whatever. First, this is where I would just say show confirmation page. I would probably put a custom message so people know what's going on. The worst thing that can happen is somebody purchases and they're like, now what, <laughs> right? Because again, this isn't going to automatically give access to anything you purchased. So unless you already have a, co a conversation with someone, you're waiting for them to buy and then you're already in that conversational, you know, already in that conversation, it's not gonna make sense. Um, like it's, you can't really, people can't really find this link and then buy and expect to receive something unless you're sending them to a confirmation page that gives them access directly, right? In which case you can do that. But that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna click on create link. And then this is the link that you're using. You're gonna be able to copy this. And that's, that's all it is. There we go. Then before we finish, if you are only using Stripe, you probably will wanna make sure you are getting all the new payment notifications. So you can go here in the settings where it recommends for you to do that. And just make sure that under email preferences, you do have successful payments checked. I don't have this checked because I already received emails from Thrivecart. And I did notice that you can actually automate some of these tasks uh, through Zapier. So it is possible that you may be able to integrate Stripe with Zapier, put people into a spreadsheet, have everything in one place, and also potentially being able to move people into your CRM is just gonna take extra tech stuff that I think is just not worth the effort. And I think it's just easier to upgrade to Thrivecart. The link is below, <laughs> but um, that's what we got here. So it's pretty straightforward and good luck. So hopefully this video was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know below. I can't promise I'll be able to answer because again, I don't work for Stripe. I am just making videos to help you, specifically my clients, but also everyone else. If you have any questions or if you want anything else, to be covered in future videos, behind the scenes, tutorials, let me know in the comments and otherwise have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video.